Hello artists and welcome back to art. Today we're going to be starting a Pueblo pottery lesson and we're going to be talking about the Pueblo Indian culture and how they designed their pots and their vessels and the types of patterns that they put on their pottery as well as the shape of them. So hopefully you just checked out the PowerPoint that I provided to you that showed you where the Pueblo Indians lived um, and showed you just different pictures of their pottery and different examples. And hopefully you were able to check out the different patterns and the different symbols that are used in their pottery as well. So the last slide of the PowerPoint looked like this. Okay, so the reason why I shared this with you is so that you could get inspired by some of these designs for your pot that you create. So if you want to use one of these designs uh, for your Pueblo pot today, you're welcome to do that. Um, however, if you want to create your own, that's even better, I think. So before we get started, I want you to just grab the following supplies. You're going to need a pencil, an eraser, a sheet of paper, and then a pair of scissors. So go ahead and pause and grab those supplies and then come back and I'm gonna show you an example of what you're going to do today. All right, so I had just shown you the template here of different examples of vases. Now, really quickly, I wanna talk about the word symmetry because you are going to have to create a symmetrical vase. Now, symmetry means that it's the same on both sides. So if I were to just draw a dotted line through this vase here, you would see that it's the same on both sides of the vase. I'll make that a little bit darker so that you can see it there. Okay, notice how this side is the exact same as that side. Same with this one up here. If we were to draw a dotted line through that vase, we can see that it's the same on both sides. So what you're going to do with your sheet of paper, the first thing that you want to do is fold it in half. Now, you can fold it in half like a, a hamburger, okay, if you want your pot to be short and wide, or you could fold it in a hot dog style if you want your vase to be nice and tall. I'm going to do a hot dog style. So go ahead, decide which way you want to fold your paper, and then go ahead and do that. And then you want to make sure that the fold is on the left side. Okay, so it's just like you were reading a book. If you open it up, okay, the fold should be on the left. Now, the next thing that you're going to do is design the shape of your vase. So in order for this to be symmetrical, you are only going to have to draw half of the vase. So let's say, for example, I really like this one right here, okay? I am only gonna have to draw this half of it right here. So go ahead and watch here what I do and then you guys can go ahead and do the steps as well. And feel free to pause the video at any time if you need to catch up. So in order for me to make my vase look like this one, I'm gonna try to draw this soft curvy line just like that. So I'm going to start at the top of my paper. And I'm going to draw this soft line. And I'm going to bring it out. And if you make a mistake, feel free to erase. That's why we're just using pencil. Now down here, when I come in, I'm going to have to go out a little bit and then over. I'm just going to use this bottom part as the bottom part of my vase. So I've got the top, I started the line at the top of the paper, and then went the whole way to the bottom. Okay, now what you're going to do next is cut through both pieces of paper. So just follow your line. carefully cut along that line, cutting through the top piece and the bottom piece of paper. And then what's going to happen is when you open this up, okay, you're going to have a symmetrical pot. Now 
unfortunately, I can't fit my entire vase on the document camera, so you can only see a small section of it. But um, you can see it's the same on both sides. It's symmetrical. So after you cut out your symmetrical vase, then you're going to design the vase with any Pueblo pottery designs that you like. Now, I shared with you two or actually three pages of examples. So here we have an owl. We've got, um, this is supposed to represent a bird in flight. We have a thunderbird here. Um, I like this little bird down here. Um, we also have on the back here, maybe you don't want to do objects and you would like to do patterns like we saw in some of the examples that I shared with you in the PowerPoint. So don't feel like you have to add animals or things like that. If you just want to do designs, that's totally fine as well. And then there was one last page that I shared with you that had fish, deer, and then different radial, like sort of radiating symbols as well. And then here we have a turtle, a sun, some corn. Now, if you would even go online, and look up additional examples of Pueblo Indian designs, that's fine as well. So what you're gonna do is pick at least three designs that you like. So I am going to pick, let's see here. I'm going to go with this bird. I'm actually gonna also go with this pattern here. And then I am probably gonna do this pattern as well in my design. And then what you're going to do is just draw them on your pot. Now, think about how we've been talking about space. Mr. Shoot talked to all of you about positive and negative space. So when you draw your patterns or your objects today, make sure that you're using the space on your pot effectively. So making sure you put things at the top in the middle, at the bottom, making sure that there's not a lot of negative space, that you're really using that space to show a full picture. So there's my bird. Now, if you wanna sort of change up some designs, like maybe you don't want to do this circle in the center, that's totally fine. You can use these designs as inspiration and then elaborate on them a little bit. I'm gonna make these a little bit smaller so that they fit on my picture. And then I've got the legs that are sort of curved down like this. Okay. All right, so there's that part and then I need to do that leafy piece coming off the top. So there's my first design. Then I think up here, towards the top of the pot, I am gonna make my zigzag. Like that. And then at the bottom, I think I'm going to do this sort of square-like spiral pattern that I saw. So feel free to add more patterns if you want. You do not have to do just three designs. You can do more than that. But I would like you to try to at least show three designs on your picture. So I just wanted to share my picture with you because I know it was a little bit hard to see on the document camera. Um, the top, the middle, and the bottom all together. So this is what it looks like now. So this is what I want you to do today. I want you to create a symmetrical vase and cut it out. And then with your pencil, use either images from the internet that you found from Pueblo Indians, or um, you can use the examples that I shared with you in Schoology and use those to decorate your pot. And then next week, we'll go over the coloring component. Okay, please feel free to email me or reach out to me on Schoology with any questions at all. And I look forward to seeing your Pueblo Indian inspired pot.